که از این شهر مهربان دیار سیننده پایت پالدون وقتی یار سنده ایر کشکی می یادی گره وار I'm an Azari and uh, I will enjoy speaking with my uh, with the people that have same language with me. This program just offered me the opportunity to finally get to this country, not just as a tourist, but also to experience the culture for a longer time, to get to know the energy policies, the geopolitics of the region, and to um, bring something back um, to Europe. When I was in Poland two years ago, I was I saw advertisement in CNN that was uh, promoting Azerbaijan and I told my mother who'd come to Azerbaijan and I was I, I didn't know I would come to Azerbaijan since then I came to Azerbaijan this is my third time <laughs> Welcome to the 5th Annual Summer Energy School, Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy. And our goal, of course, to present opportunity for all of you to learn more about energy policy in the region, about the position of Azerbaijan especially, and uh, to give you opportunity to network with each other and to be friends with each other and to work together in the future. First lecture was of course really interesting to see how do you um, drill a well, what is directional um, drilling which I've never heard of before, how, how do you get the oil? very impressed by the overall quality of the students. That means that the way you are selecting uh, the 40 or 42 people who, who attend uh, has been very, very careful. I was um, over a beer with people of Office of Brain Energy Group and they say basically that um, the amount of financial barrel traded is getting so big that we start to see a market which is a bit, start to be detached from the physical one. Here, having different kind of people, political scientists, engineers, um, traders, or whatsoever, different kind of things, each one give a spot of a situation from his own point of view. And if you are able to collect everything together, to, to exchange this information with other, then you can have a really good, uh, good overall vision of a, of a problem. I think this is the 
more and more countries that have state ownership, that have uh, strong national oil companies. They're trying to internationalize them, pursue internationalization strategies, uh, and the question for them is how can we do this in the most efficient way, in the most productive way? How can we behave more like the commercialized international oil companies? So I think it's very relevant for the time in general, but it's especially relevant for Azerbaijan because Azerbaijan itself has a strong national oil company. This is such a topic that uh, cannot be studied separately from other relevant issues. If you study energy, you must study uh, the fundamentals of it, you know, geology and upstream, midstream, downstream. You must study energy law and production sharing agreements. You must study the issues of economics, price setting and the security issues, geopolitical issues. You must study also how you use the oil revenues. So all of these are interrelated. And what we are trying to do at the summer school is to give them basic knowledge of all these areas so that a mid-career official, mid-career professional can utilize them in their daily life, daily pra practice. To look at the Slovakia, say, to be us, it's the same kind of ludicrous behavior. Most transit states take some of the, a significant portion of their fees in actual natural gas supplies themselves. You can take those two sentences and say, but I'm going to analyze security supply and when the political weapon is going to come into play. It, de it depends on how you know, asymmetric is that the, the supply and the demand. So instead of Germany being the... I think the thing that I found very striking was the dynamism uh, between participants and professors and the language, the dialogue that they found uh, uh, between themselves. So it just happened, it just, it just went perfectly well, right? So uh, the professor is talking about something very specific, but then a more specific question comes in and then they, uh, sometimes they clash, sometimes, but in a very friendly environment, but they create uh, a better debate for everyone to follow. You're gonna have a chance now to simulate what happens at the Gas Exporting Countries Forum. Um, we really expect you guys to work on this and creativity and it could be including everything from costumes to na national foods to gifts or I mean not just the content. The, uh, Spain, uh, United States, uh, South Korea, child, uh, training LNG uh, is an old partner. The idea to us of a gas cartel <laughs> is an interesting one. The era of cheap natural gas is coming to an end. <laughs> It was fun to uh, to represent the Russians uh, in the simulation. Obviously, that's the 800-pound gorilla in the room. The stability in supplies of gas will bring the those pairs, uh, caramba, twelve pairs, no, three P's in our life. So it is prosperity. Although it's a game, uh, but when you push yourself to another position and you try to forget about your personal arguments and to go out of your personal style then you discover something new. It is, I mean, it's even complex for OPEC to be a cartel and for OPEC to be an OPEC, right? But in the gas market, when we don't have a global uh, gas market and there's a variety of producers, a variety of political orientations, and a variety of strategic orientations, um, and, and, and how, how difficult it is for them to coordinate. So I think this was actually very, uh, you know, the delegations prepared very well.